Just remember, I'm proud of you. You're my son. From tip to tail. Dad! Dad? John Ross. If you're reading this, it means I'm dead. He never pretended to be anything other than himself. When I found out J.R. was my half-brother, I didn't know whether to celebrate or to shoot myself. It'd never make my daddy proud the way J.R. did. I was nine, and my father died. He said to me, just remember, he'll be watching. And he said, I don't know why your mama left, Christopher. Especially when she had such a good smart little boy like you but you're a ewing now throughout my life it's pretty much been easy for me to uh, do good because i could always count on jr to do bad i don't want it to be true but it is my brother is dead I spent the night in J.R. last night. And I wanted to share the letter that J.R. wrote. My dearest Sue Ellen, I'm hoping it'll suffice for me to say that I was never worthy of you. That I loved you the moment I saw you. And that I love you today more than I ever did. It is my greatest hope in life to earn a second chance with you when I get back to Dallas. Will you have dinner with me? Yes, JR. The answer is yes. You were the love of my life. I love you, brother. I got a better chance of winning the Good Samaritan Award.